Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mo Time and Kids, if you are watching. Uh, welcome back to another beautiful day here in Brisbane. We just had some more uh, showers come through, but they have passed and the sun's now out beaming. So it's going to be a bit of a warm one here. But anyway, so today I thought I'd take you along to a new client that's jumped on board. Um, they've recently... Um, started to rent this property um, and it has been a bit neglected um, since all the rain all those come through so it has grown out of control so it needs a massive tidy up which you will see soon so i'll take you for a bit of a walk through the property and just show you what i'll be doing here um, yeah so we'll check out what we've got to do and uh, and then we'll get stuck into it so stay tuned
Right, edging is done. That was just on two hours of edging. <laughs> That's not normally what I do. But anyway, this one was definitely needing it. So we are done. Time to blow off and get onto the mowing. All 
right mo time lovers we are done finished up at this property so yeah pretty happy with the end result i'll take you for a quick walk around and you can just sort of have a quick look at the end result and what's been done so we'll start out the front here well actually it's not the very front have a look, quick look at the very front um and then yeah so much much different to what it was like when we first turned up oh look at those crispy edges crispy Oh, very nice, very nice, crispy edges. Now, who doesn't love crispy edges, hey? All right, down the side here, let's make our way down. Again, much neater. And lo and behold, there is timber edging all the way along here. Couldn't see that to begin with, but now we can. So, that runs all the way down the side, but yeah. And then out into the backyard, which now looks an amazing place to be and an amazing place to play. So, <laughs> look at the big circle from the trampoline so with sir walter when it grows in the shade or under something continuously well trampoline doesn't completely shade because the actual bouncing cover is not a solid structure there's it's mesh so you can let a little bit of light through but sir walter will still grow under a trampoline it just won't grow thick it'll grow high but it won't grow thick so um so don't be too afraid if you have a trampoline on sir walter it will still grow through it um but yeah i mean we're looking from a distance so it looks fine here but you can clearly see the circle from the trampoline but as i mentioned to clients who have trampolines or anything that sits constantly on the lawn it is good to move it around every now and then so you're not just got the one patch either dying depending on the uh, grass variety you have um or it'll change color like that and stand out so yeah so we'll leave the trampoline here now and let it sit there till the next mow and then again we'll shift it maybe over here and so forth so yeah that's the backyard looking pretty amazing this area through this corner was super thick as you would have seen in the video um but yeah we've sort of hacked that down now and it looks 10 times better got a bit of stripes going now too so hopefully the client will be nice and happy with that end result um now still have a bunch of weed spraying to do here um as you would have noticed there's a heap of weeds all through the property um but we're gonna leave that today just because it's too windy to be spraying there goes someone's car alarm it's gone off a few times so i don't think it's anyone breaking in but anyway yeah inside section again as we head out the driveway all right so that's it we're done for this property we can wrap it all up now um, and move on to the next job um, i will have as you probably noticed i have my equipment defender rack on now from catch pro they finally arrived um, and there will be a video already up on the channel or coming to the channel. I have shot it um, But yeah, so if it isn't up already It will be coming up on the channel and that is a unboxing a fitment and review of this equipment rack But so far I've had it on Two three days now and have been super happy with it as I mentioned in a video a bit ago I was keen to stop having to pull my brush cutters out of the back of the ute um, It was just a bit of a nightmare and with lots of other things in the back of the ute like my sprayers and everything It was getting caught all the time on the trimmers So it has been far far easier to have them on the side of the trailer here to just get out pull one off and go And as you would have seen in the video, they are completely lockable um, and secure So while you're not at the trailer, no one can walk by and pinch your brush cutter and away you go So yeah keep an eye out for a review on that or if it's already up go and click on it and you can check out the equipment defender racks but yeah anyway all right guys we'll wrap the video up here thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this sort of overgrown lawn haircut we've given this new client and hopefully they are super happy with everything like always guys i hope you're staying well mentally and physically if you're new to the channel please help it out by subscribing and uh, hitting the notification bell as well i'm going to go get some food because my stomach is talking to me and i'm starving and i'm a little bit dehydrated as well i probably shouldn't have drunk probably shouldn't have i haven't drunk as much water as I probably should have. So I'm gonna go have a break for a minute, recoup, um, restock with energy and food and get on to the next lawn. But anyway, take care guys and we'll see you legends in the next video.